I better get on the horn and radio for the Air Force. This here is Chief Mildew of Possum Center. You put me through to the Pentagon. Deposit 75 cents, please. But, operator, this year is a national emergency. Put me through to the Pentagon. I'll pay you payday. One moment, please. I'm ringing. Go ahead, please. This year's Chief of Police Mildew of Possum Corner. Call out the Air Force. We're being invaded. Call out the Air Force? Being invaded by who? Or is it who? I don't know. All I know is we're being invaded by giant ants from outer space. I'm sorry, Chief, but I can't order out the Air Force. There's just one man that can order out the Air Force, and that's the Commander-in-Chief. But this is a national emergency. Hold the phone. I'll plug you into the hotline to the Commander-in-Chief at the White House. You mean Washington, D.C.? No, in Texas. Stand by. I'm ringing Go ahead. Hello? Is this your LBJ? It sure is, partner. We're being invaded. We need help. Could you call out the Air Force, sir? Oh, I couldn't do a thing like that. You can't? But you are LBJ, aren't you? That's right. Then why can't you call out the Air Force? Shucks, neighbor. Only the president can do that. But I thought you were the president. Shucks, no. I'm just one of the president's cousins, Little Bird Johnson. But I got to get through to the president. We're being invaded from outer space. Okay, just hold the phone. I'll fetch it. Yes. Is this the boss? You wanted to speak to the boss? One moment, please. Oh, Lady Bird, telephone. But, but, sir, I want to speak to you. You are the president, aren't you? That is right, sir. What can I do for you? This chair is the chief of police of Possum Corners, and we're in a mess of trouble. Trouble, eh? Now, do not worry about a thing, Chief. I will send you a whole wagon load of money. Where shall I have it delivered? But, well, Mr. President, we don't need money. Don't need money? What are you, a Republican? But, sir, we're being invaded from outer space. Invaded from outer space? That's different. I'll have the Air Force up in the wild blue yonder before you can say all the way with LBJ. Did you get hold of the Air Force, Chief? Yeah, yeah. And they're on their way. They better hurry. <laughs> Look, the monstrous giant ants are destroying everything in their way. <laughs> and those machine gun bullets bounce off them like they were champagne corks. <laughs> It's the Air Force! Now we're gonna get those monsters! Even the Air Force isn't stopping them! Look! Now the Air Force is trying bombs! Even bombs don't seem to stop those monsters. I better call LBJ again. <laughs> but, Mr. President, even bombs don't stop those giant ants from outer space. How about trying the A-bomb, sir? We can't do that. But if those giant ants keep coming, they could take over the whole world. Unless they are stopped, somehow... In that case, this is an international emergency. There is only one way to handle this. The United Nations. Gentlemen, members of the United Nations, I suppose you know why I have called this meeting. We are faced with a great emergency. The Earth is being invaded by giant ants from outer space. 
The Air Force could not stop these invaders. Even bombs do not stop these monsters. There is but one intelligent thing to do, and that is to put out an emergency call to Atom Ant. Adam Ant? I say, you've got to be kidding, old fellow. I say, what could one little bitty old ant do to monsters that can survive bombs? But, my friend, you do not understand. Atom Ant is not an ordinary ant. No, 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 no. Atom has the atomic power in his muscles. He has the strength of a hundred men. Atom Ant has muscle magic. All in favor of calling Atom Ant, say I. Then it is agreed. We will try to contact Monsieur Atom Ant at once, if not sooner. An urgent call goes out for Atom Ant. Over thousands of miles, the frantic call is relayed. Meanwhile, far, far below the surface of the Earth, down in the secret headquarters of that mighty might, that superhuman defender of justice, sits quietly reading his comic books as he waits for someone, somewhere, to push the panic button. Then suddenly, the desperate signal reaches Adam Ant. Uh-oh, I'm picking up a distress signal on my ant antenna. Sounds like somebody pushed the panic button. 